Okay, let's do some constructions now. Um, first of all, a uh, equilateral triangle and uh, decide what baseline you want. Open your compasses out to these. These are a bit tight, but a bit of tight than loose in my opinion. So open them to the full length of the line, strike an arc, strike another arc, join the dots. <clears throat> okay. Equilateral triangle, three equal sides. And now um, I'm going to do a hexagon. Hexagon, vertical line. If you want the point, the corner of or one of the corners of the hexagon to be at the top. If you want the flat side of a hexagon to be horizontal, um, then you draw a horizontal line. Then draw a circle. Like that. Now I was taught at school that uh, the, the radius of a circle goes six times into the circumference of the circle and uh, the way to draw it is to make a mark and step it round like, like that six times. Um, this works but you do get what's called cumulative error so if I'm slightly inaccurate on the second one that will double on the third one, double again on the fourth one and um, so by the time you get to the other side there's a, uh, a significant uh, discrepancy, cumulative error. This way you don't get cumulative error. You put your compass point here, tick, tick, compass point there, tick, tick, Join the dots. One, two, three, four. five and six. There's your hexagon with a point at the top and then you join across with the diagonals if you want to creating um, six equilateral triangles. This is used um, a lot in Islamic art as is the octagon which I guess I'll do next um, so it, and you're also creating 60 degree angles so um, when you're subdividing you can make 30 degree whatever so that's um, that's the hexagon stop capture